In 2019, there's so many aspects of the gaming industry that I absolutely love. Stuff like the fact that I genuinely believe that games continually get bigger, better, more impressive, and even better at surprising us. I also think the fact that we have social media to directly communicate with the artists who make the games that we love so much is such an interesting development. But with that being said, there are certain aspects of things that I absolutely despise, and one of them is crowdfunding. I still think think that, for the most part, a lot of times these Kickstarter games and Indiegogos just turn into absolute schemes, and today, unfortunately, we need to talk about one of them. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here, and today, for the first time ever, I'm going to be digging into Star Citizen. Now, just for full honesty here, I am not a backer of this project. I've never given them a penny, and I've never really been interested in it. I'm not typically into space exploration stuff for the most part. It's interesting. I like watching it, but for me, it's just not my cup of tea. But I always found the project from the outside very, very enthralling because of the project being headed by Chris Roberts. Now, even if you're somebody who's not typically into the genre, you've perhaps heard his name because he's made some of the biggest and best space-focused games ever. Stuff like Wing Commander and Freelancer. These are games that instead of just being centered on the idea of saving the universe or defeating some aliens, they're more about the idea of being a part of the universe, exploring, flying around, maybe gathering minerals. And so that's part of the reason that when he decided to go solo and begin his work on Star Citizen, a lot of people were understandably very, very hyped. But obviously, this guy couldn't do it all on his own, so he decided to go to Kickstarter and tried crowdfund as much money as possible, and it was astronomically successful. So the rough numbers as to how much he's earned ever since he first revealed this project seven years ago is about 288 million dollars. Now this was actually done in two separate ways. He had an initial crowdfunding campaign, he took open donations, and then sort of separately, but I guess you could sort of count it as the donations group, people are allowed to buy ships in the game even though it's not done yet. Some of them being five dollars, some being a hundred dollars, and some being all the way up to a thousand dollars. Now why is it that they're just so hungry for additional funds after actually getting so much? Well, apparently, they have been burning through the money very, very fast. Now, to you or I, we could easily live off $1 million forever. I mean, I could make YouTube videos until I'm 80 years old if I even had $1 million, and he had 288 times that. So where did it go? Well, apparently, due to some people who have recently quit the company, they are in a complete bog. They are making absolutely no progress, and it seems like it's just because they don't really know how to handle such an ambitious idea. How to make a game that is so expansive and so ginormous. So even though Chris Roberts is behind this and has such an experienced and long history with this franchise and with this idea of a, a concept of an infinite expanded world, they don't really know how to progress into it. Like, just recently, one of the head artists actually quit the company and decided, you know what, screw this, I'm not working on this anymore, and he revealed that the reason why is because his job was to basically draw character models, to basically be the artists whose job it was to actually sculpt a lot of the stuff that we would see in the game, suits of armor, uh, how people will look, general things like that. It took him 17 months to make five character models. Now, this was not to detriment to him. I'm not speaking bad about the artist himself. I'm saying that he said that every day he was constantly being micromanaged. The upper people were just constantly in his business, asking him to rework and tweak specific aspects of every little millimeter of every part of every drawing he ever did, which meant that since they're doing this with every section of the entire freaking project, they're making no headway. You need to be able to trust your 
your employees, especially if they're as talented as these people are, to actually make some decisions on their own. Now, this is going to really blow your mind. They have now stated that the original idea was to have 100 star systems in the game at launch. Basically, the idea being that you would have enough space to fly around and create your own adventure for years and years to come. I actually even heard some fans who pitched thousands of dollars towards this project saying that this might be the last game they ever play because the hype around this project and the promises were just so astronomical. And yet, they have made almost nothing of that so far. It's now been dug up by some investigative journalists over at Forbes.com that thus far, they have only been able to create in the entire game a couple planets, nine moons, and a single asteroid. That's it. Not the hundreds of things we've had in mind, not any of the ships, not the crazy ability to just star travel everywhere. It is simply that tiny. Now, even if they manage to make, say, one full solar system, imagine if they manage to at least make that. One thing and just cobble together these couple planets, these couple floating bodies, and all put them together. And let's decide to round this way, way up. Let's say that in seven years, they manage to finish 1% of the work. This is why I'm against crowdfunding. A lot of people now have spent a huge chunk of their personal money hoping to pay for 100% of this. They had the idea in mind that they would get 100 star systems. And even if we manage to round this way, way up and assume that this current work equals one star system, that still means that in my opinion, they are getting ripped off. This does start to seem like a lot of a scam. Now, just as an analogy, let me talk about comic books. In the past, I've mentioned the fact that I'm a giant fan of these. I like to try and find and buy them whenever I find them on sale. And typically, I actually aim to get these bigger, thicker ones. They're called trade paperbacks, where basically they have an entire story all in one bundle, right? Well, this is the very famous story of Batman Metal. This is where basically a bunch of evil Batman show up and all murder the heck out of the DC universe. It's super, super dark and hardcore. Well, what's funny about this is that it's almost exactly 100 pages. This cost me uh, 20 bucks. Now, imagine if I'd paid 20 bucks and only gotten one page of it. A single page and I had 99 blank pages. This is basically what is going on with Star Citizen, is so many people have been suckered into spending money on a project that's making no headway. Now, my personal problem with this, and the reason I'm speaking on it today, is because now we're actually getting some estimates to the fact of how much they've spent. Now, if this project was going slowly, but they were actually using the money wisely, I would have no issue. I mean, if it takes you 20 years to make the ultimate game, that is your timeline. But if you're trying to make a game and you're perpetually burning through astronomical, just giant miles, piles of money, that's when I have a problem. And clearly they are. There are reports that as of 2017, they were down to their last under $20 million, which means that they burnt through 90% of their money like that. Now, fast forward to two years later, and they're still trying to crowdfund additional stuff. They're still accepting donations. They're still making empty promises on the hope that eventually this project in some format might be done. They are spending your money on everything except the game itself. They're buying big rent. They're trying to pay all this stuff. They're hiring celebrity voice actors like Mark Hamill instead of just finishing it. This game, in my opinion, will likely never be done. I don't think it'll ever be on a storefront. I don't think it'll ever be in a playable state other than some of the rickety, weird demos that we've seen so far. This game isn't going to be finished. And really, there's not much we can do about it. By far my biggest issue with a lot of this crowdfunded stuff and a lot of times when there's these projects that are just funded on the blind ideas is that there's no accountability. I mean, a finished game from a big studio, that you can kind of trust. Even if you don't particularly like the work, at least if it's absolutely garbage, you can get your money back. You can trade it into GameStop or you can take it with your receipt to Target and hope that in some way you can get a refund. It's also the possibility of you can look at reviews and stuff. With these crowdfunded games, you're paying up front for the possibility of eventually getting a game, of getting a reward, of getting what you always dreamed of, and usually it's just a pile of smoke and mirrors. 
What I really wanted to say at the end of this video is just be very skeptical. At this point, a lot of people are being very good about only supporting Kickstarters that they absolutely know that they can trust. Like, I'll be honest, I've spent a lot of money on the Shinmu Kickstarter, and that's about to release. I'm very happy that I put money towards it because that is a game that I dreamed about. I envisioned in the back of my head for years and years, and here it is at last. Star Citizen, it seems like it's going to just end up being a big old disappointment that sunk away almost a third of a trillion dollars. But what do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Hey, uh, I just want to say that I'm not saying that every Kickstarter is bad. I'm not saying every Indiegogo is bad. I'm just saying that there's a lot of bad ones out there. Don't give money to the Atari VCS. Don't give money to Soldier Boy. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.